Welcome back to M Hood Fishing. Yeah, I'm in Leeville, Louisiana with Jared. It is quite windy, cold front. Just came through, it's a little chilly out here. You can hear a party over here. So we came here to check out the pier and the pier is crowded, but there are fish going off right here under this light. So before I head over to Grand Isle, I'm gonna try and get a fish here. I had this tied on the line already for white bass the other day. This is a small little rooster tail knockoff that I got for a dollar at Walmart. This has got that silver blade on it. There, the weight is right there. It's white and gray. And you got that little white feather there, small hook. I think we have white trout knocking off here or going off. As you guys see here in this light, you can see the pylon there and the pylon there just outside of there is where the fish are it's not like a crazy bit of action going on here but every now and then you'll see it it's a lot windier than i expected and it's chilly with this wind it's probably 67 i think that's what it's supposed to get down to tonight We'll see if this white bait works. Sometimes you can get white trout and white baits like this, but having that silver blade on there probably will be what makes it work. I might want to put a heavier rooster tail on. I'm going to switch out. I'm going to put a heavier rooster tail on. This is a quarter ounce name brand. Oh, yes, there we go. Right on, right first cast with the bigger one. Better spin, better action. Got us a little white trout there. We're going to throw that into the tote and use it as bait when we get across the bridge. All right. That's, a, that's an even nicer white trout right there. Yes. Oh, ho, ho. never gets old. Another nice white trout. How are you doing? No, ma'am. So we're out at the end of a marina, and yeah, it's really windy. Sorry about that. Can't control the wind. So he's going to start fishing big baits off of these white trout that we got, that I got earlier across the way in Leeville. Here's one of them right here. And I'm going to try and get more bait while he's fishing these on the bottom for bulls. I'm going to fish in these lit areas. I still have that rooster tail on there. It's a quarter ounce. Let's see if we can pick up a couple of white trout here before I go to throw the cast net. Here we go. Yes. What did we get? Little croaker. I'm just letting this fall and then I'm gonna jig it back up. That's how I caught that croaker. Here we go, another fish. That's a decent white trout too, that'll make good bait. I might not have to throw the cast net. Oh, there's a fish right there. Oh, that's a nice one too. Would not be a fishing channel if I didn't show you the fish, right? There we go. That's a, the kind of white trout that you would fry whole. Good bait, small little cracker sandwich. Really rough out here tonight, but there's still fish, so. Here we go, another fish. Yep, another one. Here we go. Nice. Yes. 
that is a nice one right there look at the size of that that's a sandwich with mr hood's name on it i'm ready to go big guys let's get ourselves a big trout out of here well let's get a trout out of here let's go for this one right here got us a big hook that's an eight dot we're gonna come up through the bottom of his lip And then these guys are, it's really, really hard right there. There we go, finally. I wish this wind would lay down. This is a three ounce on a sinker slide. It's like I'm catfishing and this is totally a catfish rig, but even though I'm fishing salt water, my braid is 80 pound test, 50 pound mono is my leader. And like I said, that's an eight dot. We're gonna fish this live. You can fish with uh, white trout. So this is actually the back of the island where this uh, pier is, or this marina. There's a lot of activity right off of here. I don't have to throw that out too far, about maybe 40 feet. That's what we're gonna do for the moment. Making sure my drag is set right. There you go. Whoa, shoot. Something wrong with this. Did you guys see that? This failed, it went whoop, and the rod about shot out like a bottle rocket. Is there something on there or was that just the wind? On my big rod, I just got a big slack line. I'm gonna reel up and see what's up. feel something here. Yes. I do. There he goes. Oh, yes. Let me turn the light on. Got something nice here, guys. Now the reel that I'm using on here is a Daiwa BG. I don't expect it to break the, like the Berkeley one did. I'm gonna come over to the light so you guys can see. Hugging the bottom, this might be a big ray. Which would be amazing for a live bait. Yeah, I see. Look at the size of that, that's a good size. Woo! There's a super long tail on this ray. Check it out, guys. Nice. All right, we're just gonna dip them right back in there. Oh, that's a good one! Oh, that's a good one! <laughs> On that pinfish. Yeah, live pinfish. I've been catching live pinfish on the side. Oh. Let me get the net. Does it feel like a ray? Comes. Whoa, running more. Look at your face. Look at, did you see his That's face? Not no rain. 
Raised around like Ray Raised around like that, huh? I've seen a few Ray runs. Like right here, we should be able to see him any time now. Oh, he's just keeping his head down. Oh, I saw a big body. Big body. Oh, what is that? Whatever it is, it's big. Oh, look at that. How awesome is that? That is awesome. And you wanted to go buy frozen mullet. And I was just like, <laughs> keep fishing the pinfish. He wasn't even out there five minutes. Looks like a big bull, actually. Oh my God. He does not want to come in. That is a nice big bull red. Yes! All right, guys, I'm weighing this fish in the landing net, and the landing net is about a pound. So we'll say that this fish is about 21 pounds, but it's reading out at 22.49. It's a good size bull red. When redfish are in salt water, you know, when they've been out in the Gulf, they. They look like this and not totally red. It's a really nice fish, dude. It's awesome, man. We're still dealing with his bull red, and I've got something hitting a live pinfish on one of my lines. There he goes. Yeah, I do have something. I've been watching this bite for a little bit. Wasn't sure if anything was actually here barely hitting it feels kind of good whoa not no it's I don't it doesn't feel like a ray look at those pulls Oh, it's a gar. Whoa! You the gar man, huh? I'm the gar magnet. <laughs> there's a there's a rope in my bag. Yeah, I think I think I have one. Oh my goodness, is he about he's a good five, yeah, he's six a good feet? One. He's a good one. Where's the bag? Small. Small pocket in the front. Look at the size of him. No wonder it was such a timid bite. He was just sitting out there with it. Look at this fish, guys. Not in the bottom? No, no, the small pocket. This one right here? No, 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 small, that pocket, yeah.
black paracord. Gotcha. Stay out from under there, buddy. There's an end with a loop on it. I'm gonna hand you the rod, Jared. I got him. Well, that's a nice fish, Mr. Mark. <sighs> Whew! That, that might be my PB. Not bad, no. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm not gonna bother weighing this fish. We're just going to get a tape on them. My biggest gar is 4.5. Get that tape right up there. It's right down the tip of the nose. Look at this, guys. You guys see that? Five feet. New PB. That's awesome. He's probably 50 pounds, somewhere near about, maybe even better. I'll try and pick him up, guys. chuffed about that well please real happy super awesome glad I came out let's let it go Whoa. and he is gone Woo. releasing that fish just about put my back back out I felt something go back there I'll probably feel it when I wake up later oh you got something taking drag look at that face is that on a live pinfish? Yeah. So that ain't probably a gaff top then. You probably got something good. You got a drag match shot on that thing? It's probably a stingray the size of a Mack truck tire. He's holding the bottom. I don't know. I don't feel like a stingray. He ain't kicking like a no, that ain't I don't think that's right. a stingray. We've caught like a big one. We've caught like ten stingrays tonight. This might be a red. Let's get him up here and see him before I run for the net. This ain't a stingray. Yeah. I don't know that Do you have your drag loose? Is that what's up? Gotta have that drag loose. That's a red. I just seen it. Did you? He just tailed at the top. Yeah, he's right here. All right, let me grab the oh, net. Yeah. Yeah, I just seen him. <laughs> Oh, 
probably come along. I quit using mono a long time ago. I went to that phrase. You catch fish around pilings with that shit. Oh, look at the colors on this one. Yeah, he's pretty. He's nice, too. I'm gonna call that 18 pounds because the the net is about a pound and that's almost 19, so it's around 18 pounds. That's your second one on this session. The other one was bigger, but this one's during daylight. Beautiful. Yeah, you're right. All right, let me take a picture of it for you. There he goes. Well, we are both just about faded and ready to go, even though it is still quite early in the morning and it's coming up on 8.30. Pretty amazing session, pretty amazing session. That was his second time to come out for redfish. The first time was Wednesday, so now he's hooked. You know, he's got, <laughs> he caught one bull that first time and one black drum, got two bulls tonight, and I got a, a PB Gar five footer about 50 pounder being faded right now is well worth it you know what it'll be worth more going home uh, in my yeah. Bed. yeah you're right <laughs> like share comment subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see you next time